hello and welcome back to my feature tutorial on vector so in this uh, tutorial we'll be trying to prove that the angle in a semicircle is a right angle so for that we just have to show that the angle ACB should be equal to 90 degrees so if we see clearly that this part it is the semicircle and mm, the angle in a semicircle is represented by angle ACB since one of its vertices it touches the circumference of a circle and uh, we have to show that the angle ACB is 90 degree. Also we know that this part AO and OB they are the radius of a circle and their length should be equal. Now to prove that I have to show that the vector AC and vector CB, the dot product of these two vector, if it is equal to zero, then we can say that the angle between these two vector must be 90 degree. And finally, we can conclude that angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a triangle ACO or AOC, uh, this small triangle uh, I'm going to take first and I'm going to apply the triangle law of vector addition. So here, vector AC, that means moving from point A to point C, is same as moving from point A to O and then from O to B. So AC, for AC, a vector, I can write AO vector plus OC vector. So let this be my first equation. Now, uh, if I take this another triangle that is triangle BCO and if I take this uh, side uh, CB so for CB what I can write is that moving from point C to B is same as moving from point C to O and then O to B so CO vector plus OB vector now uh, we know that AO vector is same as OB vector because uh, you can see that the direction of these two vector AO and OB they are same they are pointing towards the same side and also their magnitude are same since they are the radius of a same circle so for OB I can write OV vector is equal to AO vector so CO plus for OB I can write AO so if I can arrange this, I'll write AO first. And for CO, for CO, uh, CO means moving from point C to O, I can write it is equal to negative. It is equal to minus of, it is equal to uh, minus of vector OC. So for CO, I can write minus OC because the magnitude they represent, it is same, but the direction are equal uh, sorry opposite so let this be my second equation now if I take the dot product of vector AC and CB uh, so dot product of vector AC dot CB should equal to for AC I can sub substitute AO plus OC and for CB I can plug in the value AO minus OC so uh, a plus b a minus b we have the form a plus b a minus b and we can apply the formula that a plus b a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared so this part uh, if is a this part is b and this for the second part th this is a this is b so a plus b a minus b it means a squared minus b squared so if we square a vector the vector sign it gets cancelled and we just have the square of magnitude left here so a o squared minus c o squared now a o is the is the radius of the circle and also o c is also the radius of the circle if we say clearly so moving from the center o to the circumference c means our uh, radius so for a circle, uh, if we draw infinitely many radius, then all the radius should be equal. So in this case, AO and OC must also be equal. And if we subtract the 
two equal vectors, or we get the value 0. So the dot product of these two vectors, AC and CP, they are equal to 0. So we can say that the angle between them is 90 degree. We can show it by the formula. If uh, we say that cos theta, it is the angle between the, these two vectors, CB and AC and CB, sorry. So angle between these uh, two, AC vector and CB vector, if it's equal to theta, we can write that cos theta is equal to AC dot AB divided by magnitude of AC dot magnitude of CB. So for cos theta, to determine the angle, we have the this formula, the dot product of these two vectors divided by the magnitude, product of the magnitude of the same vectors. So cos theta, we have AC dot CB is equal to uh, 0. So just plug in the value over here. 0 divided by anything. So it is equal to 0. So theta is the angle and it is given by cos inverse of 0. And we know that cos inverse of 0 is 90 degrees. So in this way also we can determine the angle between the two factors. So I hope mm, it is clear to you and thanks for watching.